Hello, uh, this is a lecture on time response of first order system. Already I have covered in the previous lectures with the different inputs. Here the last input is, uh, this is the heading is what time a response of a response of first order system. In time response of first order system, the definitely the response will be different from different input. In this case, I am taking the input is parabolic. Okay, already I covered step input, ramp input and impulse input. The last one is a parabolic input. So now the question is find a response of especially time response or response. So specifically I will write find time response of first order system under unit parabolic input. Okay. Now I will take a solution. Uh, we know uh, for a first order system, what is the standard form of uh, transfer function of first order system? C of s divided by R of s equal to 1 by T s plus 1. T equal to time constant. So, I will write C of s divided by R of s equal to 1 by T s plus 1. T equal to what? Time constant. In what? In second. So, I will take R of s is 1 by s cube. It is given, it is, it is given in the problem. That is called unit parabolic input unit parabolic input now I'll substitute 1 by s cube is equal to 1 by T s plus 1 now C of s equal to 1 by s cube into bracket T s plus 1 this is a C of s but I suppose to find what time response time response means what C of T C of T so, what I supposed to do? To convert C of S into C of T, I have to take a Laplace inverse. But before taking a Laplace inverse, you see here, these are the multiplication factors, S cube and T S plus 1. To convert these multiplication factor into addition factor by using partial fraction. We know all three forms of, forms of partial fraction. Say for example, okay, suppose there are three constants, then A by X plus B by x plus 3 plus c by x plus 2 because highest power of x is 3 so that 3 constants I will take one more equation suppose s, s square x plus 3 okay. so once again there are 3 constants a by x plus b by x square plus c by s cube this is the second formula the third formula may be like this x into bracket x square plus 2 then once again 3 constants I have taken an example of 3 constants sometimes 4 sometimes 2 sometimes 1 depend upon the highest power of x in the denominator here I will write bx plus c divided by x square plus 2 this is a 3 form of partial fraction now it comes to the second formula x square x square second formula now I will apply the second formula of partial fraction for a c of s I will find the abc value because the highest power of a, uh, s in the denominator is 3 highest power of s in the denominator is Okay. okay. Now, what do I do? So, 1 by s cube T s plus 1 is equal to a by s plus b by s square plus c by s cube plus d by their highest power of s is 4, so T s plus 1. Now, I will take a LCM s cube T s plus 1, here s cube T s plus 1. 
Now 1, here s square ts plus 1, here s t plus ts plus 1, here ts plus 1, here s cube. Now I'll write s square ts plus 1 plus s plus b into s ts plus 1 and plus c ts plus 1 plus d s cube. Get cancelled. Because the LCM LCM is cancelled. Now I'll write 1 equal to AT S Q plus A square plus B T S square plus B S plus C T S plus C plus D S cube. Now I'll take A T plus D S cube plus S square means A plus B T S square plus B plus C T S plus C. And here I'll write zero because no only constant term. But this side I can write zero S Q plus zero S square plus zero S plus one. Because this side no S S square and S cube term. I can write zero S plus zero S square plus zero S cube because to compare the coefficients and ultimately we have to find what constants. We have to find constants. Now I will compare with the constant c is equal to 1. Now c value. Then I will compare the s coefficient b plus ct is equal to 0. I know the c value 1 t. So b equal to minus t. Now s square coefficient a plus bt is equal to what 0 and b equal to what minus t. So, B A equal to T square. And next, A T plus B equal to 0. A equal to what? T square plus B. So, D equal to minus T. Now, I got A, B, C, D value. So, to substitute A, B, C, D value in the above equation, in the above equation. So, now I will write like this C of S equal to A by S, A is what? T square plus B, B is minus T plus C. 1 plus d minus t cube divided by t s plus 1. You are now substituted a b c d value. Okay. Now I have to take a Laplace inverse, I will get a C of t. But before you see here, I know that Laplace of e s2 minus e t is how much? 1 by s plus a and Laplace inverse of 1 by s plus a equal to what? e raise to minus a t because s coefficient should be required 1. So here, but the s coefficient is t. To remove this, I have to what I have to do? To divide numerator as well as denominator by what? t. So now, to divide numerator and denominator by t. Now I can take a Laplace inverse. Laplace inverse of C of S equal to t square. Laplace inverse of 1 by S minus t. Laplace inverse of 1 by S square plus Laplace inverse of 1 by S cube minus t square. Laplace inverse of 1 by S square plus t. Now, this becomes C of t, this becomes t square, the Laplace inverse of 1 by s is 1 minus t, 1 by s square is t plus t square by 2 factorial 2 minus t square e s 2 minus 1 by t. You know that Laplace of t square is equal to 1 by 2 factorial divided by s cube. So, Laplace inverse of 1 by s cube is equal to what? t square by 
2 factorial means 2 into 1, 2. So, I have written like this. So, for example, Laplace of t is equal to 1 by s and 1 factorial divided by s square, correct? So, Laplace inverse of 1 by s square is equal to what? t. I have written t. Now, what is this? This is the thing, but time response of what is this? What is this equation? The time response of first order system under unit parabolic input. So, time response of time response of first order system under unit under unit parabolic Okay. Now, I will draw the graph. You see here t squared. Small t is a time. That is a variable. Capital T is a constant. Small t is a time in second. Capital T is a for time constant. So, now I will draw a graph. Before draw a graph, I will find a value. Uh, uh, is it passing through the origin or not? When t equal to 0, when t equal to 0, then c of t equal to t square minus 0 plus 0 minus t square e raised to 0. That is 1. T square minus T square is equal to how much? 0. Means the curve is start passing through origin. After sufficient time, that is T equal to infinity, the C of T, that is T square minus infinity plus infinity square, that is and E raised to minus infinity. So, in this case, if you add something, the infinity square and something you have to add to infinity, you will get answer is infinity. Okay. So, when t equal to infinity, c of t is infinity. When t equal to 0, c of t is 0. Now, I will draw a graph for this response equation. For this response equation. Now, I draw a graph. This is t and this is what r of t, r of t is equal to how much t square by 2 or r of s equal to how much, r of s equal to 1 by s cube, ok. So, 1 and the same because Laplace of t square is equal to what? 2 factorial by s cube, ok. Laplace inverse of 1 by s cube is equal to what? t square by 2. Ok. This is an input curve. This is a r of t and c of t. So, c of t curve I will take. This is c of t. This is the c of t because passing through origin and it goes on increasing. Now, I suppose to find how much the steady state error because when the time is goes on increasing, suppose I will take uh, after sufficient time, I will find a steady state error after sufficient time. Here, the error is goes on increasing, the error is goes on increasing, that is called steady state error. The definition of what is a steady state error definition? Limit, yes, test to 0, yes, R of s this minus R of S minus C of S. Already we know this formula. Now, I will substitute R of S equal to how much? 1 by S cube and C of S before partial fraction. I know this value S cube plus P S plus 1. Now, I will substitute these two value in the above equation. Steady state error equal to S test to 0. Yes. What is R of S? S cube minus 1 by S cube T S plus 1. Now, steady state error equal to limit S tends to 0. Now, S cube T S plus 1. Here, 1, here T S plus 1. T S plus 1 minus 1 get cancelled. So, limit S tends to 0, then S T S plus 1. I will substitute 1 by 0 is how much? 
infinity. The error is goes on. The steady state error. The error is goes on increasing. Okay. So all four inputs I have covered in this lecture. I have covered one input, but the previous two lectures I have covered other three inputs. Now I'll summarize in a minute. I'll summarize in a minute uh, for unit step, uh, unit step input, unit ramp input, unit parabolic input, and unit impulse input. Now I'll summarize total the time response of first order system. In the first order system, there is a specification, only one specification, that is a time constant. In the first order, I'll cover the first order system. In the first order system, okay. So standard form is 1 by Cs, C of S divided by R of S equal to 1 by Ts plus 1, only T is a time constant. This is very important. So, entire behavior of the system is depends on capital T also. That is in second, T is equal to RC in the RC circuit, RC circuit. In the tank system, T is equal to AR, area of cross section as well as resistance at the wall, tank system. Already, I have derived these two transfer functions. Here, uh, I will show the, uh, the time response steady state error, steady state error. First is unit step input and steady state error, 0 and unit ramp input, that is a capital T and then unit parabolic, just now I have covered, that is infinity. And unit impulse, unit impulse input, 0, it is a type of input. And curve we have seen, so we have seen the curve for step input, okay. And here, and in the ramp input, capital T, and third one is a parabolic input, this is infinity, here this is steady state error is 0, ok, you know that x axis is time and y axis is C of t, in the impulse input, the steady state error is what, 0. So the response curve for all four types of inputs, this is a response curve, C of t response curve, this is C of t, this is C of t and this is a C of t. Here this is R of t, here I input R of t, input R of t and here R of t. Okay, now I am showing entire free lecture, I took a free lecture on time response of first order system, the time response of, time response of first order system in three lectures. This is a summary of all three lectures. First lecture, I took a types of inputs. Second lecture, I took a time response of unit step input. In third lecture, time response of what impulse as well as this, impulse as well as uh, ramp, in, uh, ramp input. Then the final, final is what? The parabolic as well as summary. Totally, I took a four lectures, type of input one lecture and three lecture on time response of first order system. Next lecture will be time response of second order system. That is very interesting because second order system, many, many 1990 uh, first order systems are very, very less. So I will start a next lecture with time response of second order system. I hope you understood the summary part. Okay, thank you.